Hi there and welcome to yet another video of mine and this is all about rugby and it's a little bit of the Oxford Canal Walk and the Black Path. It's a path that loops around rugby, uh, probably only about a mile from the city centre. But I'm going up, on, up those stairs there and onto the canal and I just saw those pylons and they look so oh, huge and mighty. I thought, well, that'll make a change. <laughs> so I shot them. And here we are on the canal. This is the other end of the basin that the starting shot showed you. I can't walk along it because it's a gated road. I have to go around by a pathway. And we'll go up onto the main canal there under that bridge. And here we are. Now that way is not Oxford. <laughs> that way is rugby. This way is Oxford. Eventually. It's a long walk and a long swim. And there's two little pals gone past. There were no boats moving about. So I thought, well, settle for the docks. The docks are always with us. <laughs> you think a day like today, the boaters would have been out in their dozens, but no, not so. Now this, believe it or not, is one of the tributaries to the River Avon. And the other side of it here is where it comes through the shopping centre. There, that's it. You've been both ends of it. And it joins the River Avon, which you'll see later on. And there's another two ducks. Obviously got some food going on down there, so... I'm just widening out to show they're under a wood bridge which crosses over the canal there. There's a pub the other side. Of course there is. It's called the Harvester. And that big welcome to rugby sign. That's for the boaters, not for the pedestrians. You're a bit, quite a bit from the city centre here. I'm, I'm going to the hospital, so uh, one of my regular visits. But I walk up and it's about a mile and a half. Do you good. And there's the main bridge going across that carries the traffic. And that's the rubbish graffiti side. And that's the official graffiti side boasting about the game of rugby and rugby town of course but you notice they put that the other side where the pedestrians can't get and spoil it with their own graffiti I don't know what makes them think they're artists I'm sure <laughs> and this is the black path it goes for quite a way, a good few miles and that's how they Treat people in rugby, if they're not very nice, <laughs> hang them high on a blue rope or hang them low. And there's a trolley. You'll find trolleys scattered throughout this. They put them in as sort of obstacles for uh, push bikes, pedestrians, the disabled and people in wheelchairs. There, are, look. That's Tesco to thank for that. Thank you, Tesco. And another, thank you Tesco. And you haven't seen anything yet. Wait till you see the, the beautiful, they call this the trolley dump area. Uh, and thanks to Tesco again. Look at this, there's one that side. It won't be lonely for long, there'll be others joining it soon. But wait till you see this side. Now I don't know what these trolleys cost, but I'm damn sure... Tesco would pay somebody with waders to go and fetch them out. It would cost them 20 quid. <laughs> and here's another rugby specialty coming up. You'll see it in a, a second once I get after that runner. And it's a fence growing tree or a tree growing fence. You would think they'd have the imagination to cut it down, wouldn't you? Never mind. The black path continues here, but we're crossing the main road. And it goes across to the left, across the road, and straight in front there. And here we are. 
continuation of the black path. And there we are, another one of rugby's favourites. <laughs> uh, and here's this beautiful railway bridge. It really is, it's a work of art. But below the bridge you'll see the rugby's answer to the landfill problem. Just dump it anywhere. It must be one of the dirtiest cities, towns I have ever, ever been to. Sorry, rugby, but you brought it on yourselves. You've got enough unemployed, you could certainly employ them to go and tidy up. And this is under one of the road bridges. Graffiti, graffiti, graffiti. And down to our right is, I'd like to say, the beautiful River Avon. It is beautiful when it gets down near Oxfordshire and... I, uh, other places, but here now it's just a dump. And if we're going to swing around to the right, you'll see a rare collection of road cones out as a family for a swim. There you go, look. Not one, but four. There's one to the right there, yeah. And that's a family group. So there you, there's that River Avon. That's where it goes through the shopping centre and joins, that's the tributary, sorry, and it joins here, the River Avon. This is the prettiest part of it in rugby, and it's the bit you can see the least of. And that's about your lot. Rugby deserve all they get. <laughs> Bye for now, Jimmy. <laughs>